Hello, hello dear attendees and thank you all for joining us in today's webinar. I am Majdi, Senior Application Engineer at EMWorks and I will be with you during this technical demonstration. In this session, we will cover the topic of design of high frequency magnetic components used in electronic systems including converters protection and protection devices. During this presentation, we will see how EMS and EMR study both can help to study and design different magnetic devices, including ferrite inductors, planar transformers, and flyback transformers. Our presentation will be started by an introduction about magnetic components, then we will have a look on the main design issues posed by these applications and what we propose as a solution to overcome these challenges. After that, we will perform a live demonstration about our tools. In what is left, we will check a couple of magnetic devices solved with EMS and EMRs 2D. And at the end, we will finish our presentation by a conclusion. As you already know, magnetic components play a major role in power converters and electronic systems. They can significantly affect the performance and the efficiency of these systems. However, we can find these devices in the market, but it is recommended to design them based on our needs and our application specifications. In power electronics, engineers deal with different types of magnetic, magnetic components, including filter and actors, coupled inductors fly and flyback transformers, etc. For this reason, the design stage is very important step in the development of magnetic devices. But this task is not a trivial since the switching frequencies are usually very high and this increases the impact of the high frequency related phenomena like skin and the proximity effects. Since, hence, hence, the modeling of these magnetic components became very challenging. So most of the finite element simulation efforts have focused on predicting AC resistance of the devices using some two-dimensional two two-dimensional frequency domain solutions. However, these methods have helped to reduce the design process, but their main drawbacks are relying on some assumption and approximation leading to more iteration tests. This means more cost and less possibilities of optimizations. To overcome these limitations and give more flexibility, 3D transient simulations have to be used to analyze this kind of problems. It allows to fully study the dynamic system, including most of the real life problem inputs and conditions. In this context, we are proposing our complete solution that can help to cover the main design challenges faced while modeling these magnetic components using in electronic systems. EMWorks provides a complete solution that can help designers to study and solve the different issues can be posed by magnetic devices applied in electronic systems like power converters. Our solution offers a 2D and a 3D electromagnetic simulations covering both magnetic and electric fields through six modules. EMS is our 3D electromagnetic simulation software, while EMR 2D consists of a 2D simulation tool. Both they can help to compute like coils, parameters, resistance and inductances, electromagnetic losses, eddy currents, skin and the proximity effects, breakdown voltages in electric systems, and so on. In addition to these magnetic components, our solution can be used to study electric machines like motors and generators, analyze different high voltage applications, simulate actuators and magnetic brakes, and more applications. To give more flexibility to magnetic Designers, our solutions are fully and seamlessly embedded inside both SOLIDWORKS and Autodesk Inventor. Inventor. This can offer more modeling options to accurately and effort 
explicitly convert your innovative ideas into CAD models ready for simulations. Going from 3D geometry to 2D geometry is automated using Amox 2D and it is possible to have them both within the same model. EMS came is with an integrated circuit simulator which allows to model and create different circuits topology. Along with magnetic and circuit simulations, EMS gives the ability to couple these simulations with a few multi-physics options like thermal and linear static. This helps especially to study the temperature variation of your magnetic design under both steady state and transient condition. In what is remaining of our presentation, we will see a couple of magnetic components solved using our tools. But before this, we, we are going to take a look on EMS environment inside SOLIDWORKS. Now we are inside SOLIDWORKS environment. As we said earlier, EMS and EMORS 2D, both of them are fully embedded inside SOLIDWORKS. So they have the same look and feel as SOLIDWORKS. Let's go to EMS tab, click on EMS tab. Then we, we are now in EMS 3. So we have these already solved studies, already created studies. So let's try to create a new study. Right click on the assembly, go to study, choose this option of study. So now we can see six modules. Uh, which are magnetostatic AC magnetic transit for magnetic simulations and electrostatic electroconduction and AC electric for electric field simulations. Uh, and we have uh, at the bottom of this option of parameterization. This option allows to parameterize whether geometrical variables like dimensions, like mates, uh, angles, distances inside SOLIDWORKS and also uh, simulation variables like, param uh, like current voltages materials also so this helps to run uh, several scenarios within the same study let's try to go to this coupling analysis tab and we see thermal structural motion and coupling to circuit these are a few multi-physics options that can that EMS allows to couple them with magnetic and electric field simulations so this motion al coupling this means we can couple uh, our uh, study with SOLIDWORKS motion analysis. So this helps to solve like motors and generators applications and other applications that need motion. Well, let's create like new study, say OK. So we are now generating a new study. A new study is generated. This is EMS3, EMS study 3. So we, we have at the top the material materials list. So we, we, we have three components, three parts, and we should assign to each of them the material. So this is the air. So right click on the air. So we can assign the material using this favorite list. The core is made of like, let's say it's this right so and this is the coil which should be made of copper so this is so let's let's go to ems material so at, at the left side we can see ems materials library it is uh, a rich and well organized material library it contains several material categories so we have this uh, this library it contains some nonlinear magnetic material and permanent magnets. We have biological materials, cables, ceramics materials. There is also conductor materials, aluminium, copper, and so on. So uh, most of the materials are there. So we, we have this material library. And also uh, users can load new materials, can add their materials, their own materials, or customize the existing material. So this is something can be uh, done using EMS material library. So we can, let's, for example, go to this list. So we have different notations. So let's use this US, for example. So here we can see different material properties like this steel. So we have this core loss data. I have this 
coefficients we have this lamination factors and we have the page curve so if we wanna for example edit this one let's copy this material paste it somewhere here edit this material so let's say that we wanna change this page curve so we have this EMS function curve so we can like add a new curve whether we import our data using external files like text or excel files or we can if we know uh, initial or like saturation of our steel so we can generate bh curve using this uh, automatic feature in, e in ems material library so we can like this let's suppose that these are my data so it's easily help helps to uh, help to generate bh curves let's cancel this and go back to our study okay so later <coughs> we have so we, c we have this option so we we can define s whether solid or wound coil so in this case it's solid coil click new solid coil so let's select this body which is the coil select the entry here is the entry and this is the exit part so this should be selected here this is the exit part of our current these are the general problems so we can define the rms current here or whether we we, we uh, define current driven coil or a voltage driven coil so this is basically what we can do so in case of we have wound coil so let's suppose that this is a wound coil so we have the same entities that so we need to select a body and entry or or and or exit ports in some cases we is the same we have the same entry uh, with we have uh, same entry and exit ports so <laughs> we can use check this option to to define only one uh, surface so here <coughs> we have uh, the wire diameter the uh, so the american wire gauge and we have this wire diameter so and we can put define the number of turners also if we don't know the uh, wire diameter we can use this option of filling factor we can define the filling factor instead of the dia diameter of the wire and the same thing so we can choose whether current or voltage driven and we define this uh, here uh, the rms current and this is the phase since we are we created the new uh, a, a new uh, ac magnetic study in case we want to compute a force so this uh, the section helps to define like virtual work to compute whether of torque or a force or Lorentz force also the same to compute force or torque generated by currents in conductors basically this is EMS measure so we can create we use this option to create mesh so this is the manual mesh so just run this and you will get your mesh so these are some options related to the measure so basically this these are the main steps to uh, create a new study and perform new simulations with using EMS so let's go back to our presentation now back again to our presentation the first example we are looking at is of a right inductor that can be used in several applications like dc dc converters high current motors and onboard onboard chargers it is characterized characterized by low loss for right core for high rated current performance magnetostatic module of ems is used to study this inductor under static condition different plots of the magnetic field results are shown in the in this slide it it includes fringe vector and streamlines a plot a parametric study is used to vary the inductor input current and compute the inductance the left figure shows an animation of the magnetic field versus different currents it can be seen that the ferrite has a saturation around 0.5 tesla in the right figure we can see the inductance 
results versus current. It confirms that the inductor can provide high rated current performance. As we can see, the inductance is constant up to 150 amp. Then later it decreases suddenly when the uh, core reaches or reaches its saturation. Next, we are doing a frequency domain simulation using a C magnetic solver of EMS. The input voltage is 50 volt at 100 kilohertz. At the left side, we can see the magnetic flux results. There are some high spot regions here around the uh, core windows. While in the right figure, we can see some uh, and the, the current density results from this figure we can note the skin and the proximity effects caused by the high frequency signal later in our presentation we will see uh, like a deeper investigation about these phenomena here we can see some of the coil properties versus different input current in the frequency domain both inductance and impedance are decreasing, as you can see in this left figure. So both the inductance in the blue curve is decreasing versus the input current. So at the beginning it's constant, then when the core reached its uh, saturation, it decreased as well for the impedance. While at the left we can see that uh, the losses, which are core loss and winding loss are decreasing because the current is increasing so now our variable is the frequency we run a frequency sweep study and the coil parameters results are collected in this slide it can be seen that the AC resistance this orange curve is increasing versus the frequency and this is expected this is unexpected behavior due to the skin effect Hence, the results of the winding loss are increasing as well since they are proportional to the AC resistance. While this is the AC impedance also is increasing versus the frequency. And here is the inductance which is decreasing. So, but this, dec this decrease is not, is not too big. Difference. There is no big difference between the maximum this point and this point here. So this is why it is not like it is neglected. A transient simulation is performed now to compute different electromagnetic quantities in time domain. The excitation voltage is 10 volt at 100 kilohertz. At the left, we can see a positive current. We can see here a positive current circulating in the coil. It is always positive. It is versus time and it's always positive. And on the, on the right side, we can see the different losses. It's winding and core loss versus time. Both, they are oscillating. So we have covered most of the simulation situation through these static harmonic and transient analysis. So we can get an idea about the performance of our inductor versus different conditions. To have the magnetic device operating at at a high efficiency for a longer life cycle, electromagnetic losses should be kept at lower level. At high frequency, eddy currents effects such as skin proximity and fringing effects are, signific are significantly increase the losses in the conductor parts of the magnetic components. Since the ferrite, which is the main material used in these kind of applications has a low conductivity only the hysteresis part of the core loss has an impact so we, we can use EMS or EMR study to analyze the impact of the current distribution at different conditions like we can see in this slide so a uniform distribution is obtained when using a DC current uh, like what we are seeing at the left side so the, the distribution is uniform. This means low resistance, low DC, which is the DC resistance. While the current is circulating in the skin depth here, it's thin layer. It is the skin depth. 
so the, the the AC resistance is higher in this in this situation in case of many conductors like in this right figure we have or we can see the proximity effect which which is or which also increases more the resistance of the conductors which leads for to more losses this graph shows the current density along a radius of one isolated conductor supplied with different frequency we can see the current density becomes higher at the edge of the conductor when the frequency increases now using a book converter we we are trying to see the impact of different effects on the total winding losses as can be seen that the fringe effect generates more losses on the device compared to proximity and DC current DC current source now we move to our second example which is a multi-layer PCB transformer the core of the transformer is made of a right material and the winding conductors have intermediate insulation layers the left figure shows a typical load circuit created with EMS circuit simulator using the transformer windings The figures, this figure contains the self and meteor inductances of the transformer versus DC currents. The three curves are decreasing with the current. Magnetic field and the cross section view of the current density are shown in, in this slide. At the bottom, we can see a screenshot of EMS tabular results showing the primary and the secondary currents in frequency domain. As you can see, there, is, there are uh, this, tab this table uh, results contains the inductance, flux linkage, impedance and other results related to the windings of the transformers. Now let's have a quick look into EMOS 2D and how we convert a 3D geometry into 2D geometry ready for simulations. Let's go to SOLIDWORKS again. So this is our this is our 3d geometry and if we want to do like 2d simulation so we need to create a 2d model so this can be done within few clicks using emr studio so let's start by adding our local coordinate system so we add the coordinate system so this let's suppose that this is like planar uh, it has a planar symmetry like it is xy problem Okay, yes. So we will cut this geometry along XY plane. Okay, so this is our corner system. Let's go to EMOS 2D, right click here, use 2D simplification option. So uh, it's already selected the planner and already selected also the, the coordinate system, the created coordinate system. And let's validate. Now it is converting the, uh, the 3D bodies into surfaces. Even the hidden air will be also converted. Almost done. the air the outer air okay it is now done so as you can see we have 2d geometry ready for simulations all what we need is to go and 
repeat the same step steps as EMS create a study and define materials and define all the needed uh, setup and uh, uh, to know that you you have also uh, you still have the 3d geometry there so you, it is not deleted so you have both of them you have 2d and 3d geometry within the same model so we can use this option to show and hide like show the 3d and hide the 2d on or show both of them at the same time now oh. so let's back to our presentation AC magnetic now is coupled to thermal analysis to compute the temperature the steady state temperature at different parts of at the different parts of the transformer on the left we can see the steady state temperature of the ferrite core it reached a maximum temperature of 41 degrees celsius while the windings and the insulation layers have a maximum temperature of 32 degrees celsius now we come to our last example which is a simplified flyback transformer the primary is a solid coil with a 13 turners while the secondary is a stranded and it has 200 turners it operates in a discontinuous mode the coil currents are known so the magnetic flux is illustrated in the right figure as you can see the the, the, the flux is concentrated at the middle of the transformer so to simplify the problem the symmetry was used in this simulation so this uh, option helps to reduce the computation time so we cut the model using the symmetry of this model and we run only a portion of it to save time now the stranded coil as you can see has a uniform current density because it is supposed to be without losses while we can see the fringing and the proximity effects in the primary side the winding currents waveforms are shown in the right side we use it uh, a feature of ems transient simulation so we imported the current as from external files as we know them so now we come to the conclusion of our presentation so to summarize EMS was used to study a couple of magnetic components using static harmon and transient analysis. Inductances, resistances, and impedances were evaluated in different conditions. Core loss and winding losses were estimated. At the end, we computed the temperature variation of our planar transformer versus or at steady state. Thank you all for attending or joining us today in this webinar and please feel free to share with us your questions.